The Panzerkampfwagen 38T was originally a Czech tank of a pre-World War II design. After Czechoslovakia was taken over by Germany, it was adopted by the German army, seeing service in the invasion of Poland, France and Russia. German grey camouflage is very easy to paint, but I prefer using more colors. Tank 38T didn't serve as only in the German army. The Slovak Republic, which was a Korean state of Nazi Germany, existed between 14 of March 1939 and the 1st of April 1945. The Slovak army actually had a few 38T tanks too. The tanks has classic free colors Czech camouflage, but after battle of the Lipovets in 1931, they were repainted to green. I decided to paint my tank with camouflage used in this battle. I paint the assembled model with Mr. Surfacer 1000. I start painting the model with lighter colors, in this case is a light sand. Another color is green. I am brushing with a 0.2mm nozzle. It is necessary to try the paint on the plastic board first. Finally, the red color. Actually, it is not pure red, but brick shade. I paint the exhaust pipe with rust color and the wheel hoops with Panzer Grey.
I coat the whole model with two layers of the clear varnish. I add water slide decals and after that one more layer of the clear varnish. Finally, I can be with weathering. I use Tamiya wash, Paneline Accent Color, which I wipe off after work with a brush moistened in Tamiya X20 thinner. I create a nicer rust look with MIG rust pigments, which I subsequently fix with pigment fixer against from a MIG production. I add some scratches with a brush with light sand color. The brush which I am using is Tamiya Paintbrush Small. The tank still looks like a new, so I add a little of a rust. Great for this purpose are enamel paints. Acrylic varnish is resistant to enamel thinner, so we can smear the enamel paint and use it like a wash.
I paint the light scratches with dark grass. It is easier to do it with a soft form. Thanks for watching. In the next video, I'm going to make a small diorama for this model.